Hello everyone and welcome to Hearts Medicine 2. Today we're just gonna finish up the emergency room because Oliver's back and he has so many friends. Let's see if we can handle a hectic level while collecting all the Olivers. Uh -huh. In the last episode I left you with an ambulance explosion. First crashing into a river, we saved Daniel's arm. It seems... Uh, where is the little bugger? I already missed one. Oh, no, there it is. Hiding behind oh, something. And, uh, well, the ambulance exploded, and for as far as we know, Joe was still inside it. I'm saying for as far as we know, because we never actually saw a corpse. But how many corpses do you actually see in an explosion high up? So, is Joe dead? Yeah, probably. Unless he's gonna come back like Terminator Cyborg Joe, or Alien Joe, or Ghost Joe, you know, all the ridiculous tropes. But that leaves us with the question, what will happen to Sophia? Joe's fiance. Oh dear. Hello, Oliver. It's, this level is a lot of Hello, Olivers. And I've placed them all, people. So you'd think if anybody would be able to find them, it would be me, because I kind of know what I'm looking for. A guinea pig, that is. But then again, everybody's looking for a guinea pig, and aren't they? I get it. Smartass, I know where to look for the guinea pigs. If I don't see it immediately, I know what tricky spots I've placed them at. For instance, behind the lamp, under the beds, next to the beds, uh, above the desk, sometimes hidden by an audio, uh, or by a talk bubble from a patient. Some of them are easy, definitely. Not all of the Olivers are difficult to find. But some of them, some of them are tricky. And if they're tricky, I have an excuse that I've placed them to know where they are. None of you can say that. None of you. None of you can challenge me on that. I know I've placed them all. Some of them I've had to move because I made them too hard. Boo-hoo. Like that one, going straight through the shelf. I like it. Under the desk. Right, Darren. Right, Oliver. Right, random gentleman number 70. How many patients have we helped so far? This hospital is the busiest ever. With a revolving door, apparently, because they keep coming back. People keep injuring themselves. Some people aren't smart. Hey, yeah, people can't injure themselves because somebody else isn't smart. Somebody else rides into them or whatever. But it's still somebody not being smart, you know. I can be a smart ass about that. Go, Oliver, bye. Drink. Could have gone for an achievement here. Didn't feel like it. One more. There you are. Whoops. Checked out patients a little bit too early. Will that affect my overall score? Probably. It will definitely affect it, but will I still be able to make it is my question. Because these challenge levels only require me to go to one star, so I'm not really going for an ultimate high score here. Because there is no need to. We don't get any bonuses from it. We just need to make the stars and be happy with that. Now we're almost out of patience, that's uh, not good. And I still don't have my star. I'm not too far off, I think I might make it with the next set of patients. Oh, I should have been over there already. That's my bad. Still made it though. We're good. Think we're good. Okay, this is a five combo, and five combo is worth enough already. There we go. And that's where you can find all the Olivers behind the lamps, under the beds, behind the desks, and behind speech bubbles. 
And that's how we actually close off the ER and go into physiology. But first, we unlock this amazing chair. Actually does not look comfortable. Looks so rigid. Next up we need 10 diamonds, so let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And after level 37 we get another item. But first, let's see what happened and start the intro to physiotherapy. We left on a very big dramatic high note. Let's see what it left us up. Music is cherry. Because physiology is not run by one, but two doctors. Actually, Connor is a pediatrics doctor. I forgot about that. Hey, hey. Oh, Connor stepped on his own tongue there. Wow, that was a bit heavy. Such a small plastic weight. Exercising his arm. Well, somebody has to. Well, I haven't seen Allison just yet. Why do I have all this shopping money? I should be broke right now. I'm sorry. I'm gonna fix that real quick. Just... There we go, we're broke. Uh, I forgot that I should have had uh, bought the plants. Yeah. Have exactly two patients served with three hearts or less. So again, this is an intro level, get used to everything. Now what I'm gonna do for this, just to restock by the way, what I'm gonna do for this is uh, drop somebody in a chair, just leave them there for a while until they have one heart. And just wait. I need to have people with three hearts or less for this. It's a challenge that impacts your score and your control of the game. If you don't completely control this game, then... Jink! New minigame bonus locations, always juicy. Then you're gonna lose control of the patients that you need to have in a low level. Especially because if I let her lose all her hearts until she only has three left... And I treat her, then suddenly she has more than three. And if that gives her golden hearts, I'm screwed. It should not, but it will. You'll go walk upstairs. Well, because of this lady, I sadly cannot see my timer, so I don't know how many patients are left. So I'm gonna have to just put a second patient in there. Old lady, you, you die fast. You, you wait there. I thought old ladies died fast. Apparently not. This one's very rigid. Now let's just hope this lady does not get a minigame or something. Huh? Oh. If she loses one more heart, I'll say she's ready to be treated. One more after this, I meant. Huh? Oh. There you go. Yeah, get get pissed off with me. That's how you should work. Ugh, that's a juicy sound. There you go, now you can treat. We can treat this one. If only once. But not fast though. She has to wait. And lose another heart because of it. There you go. There you go. Check you all out. You're the first one. And there we go. That's half of our challenge completed. This lady is almost ready to be uh, mad at us. Which is a great thing for us. You just wait there. Now! Now you can go. Now, I also don't want to give you a quick treatment bonus. Do we go for this guy's quick treatment bonus, though? Guess oh. deserve it. There you go. Oh dear. That one's taken, my lady. Three, four. I'm gonna have to wait until he moves. And you lose another heart, because, you know can't have you above three hearts. 
That's the last patient, so this one should be done doing it. No quick treatment bonus, here you go. Test out your new brace. And there we go. Easiest challenge, still made free hearts. And I'm still got the Oliver. And that's a good intro to the emergency room. Meanwhile, Daniel's coping with the muscles in his own arm. Haven't seen Allison yet. There's Jenny. And she's still dating Connor. Combo tickets for both Lucha Libre Wrestling and the Monster Truck Rally. Cars getting crushed, really, Connor? But they're non-refundable. Quote, watch the new Disposables movie, because you're not breaking intellectual property if you're not exactly naming the movie now, are you? Never mind, let's just do what you want. Cool, it's going to be great, just wait and see. By the way, make sure you're on time tomorrow, I might need your help. Allison's coming back to work. Against my advice. Don't worry about Allison, she's a big girl. You can handle herself. Of course she is. But for now, she's not, because I'm stopping the recording for today, people. My name is Edge Doomsday, I hope you enjoy your games, and uh, in the next episode we'll find out what happened to Allison after the great traumatic incident. We now know that Daniel's in recovery for his arm, uh, Connor is shacked up with the physiology doctor because his pediatric room is under renovation. So I wish you all a good day. Play some games, have fun. Peace out.